the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. Liverpool against Manchester City. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Hi, Peter. It's great to be here. A good on the miss. Now he's wondering who wants it. Beautifully done. Flings it across. Oh, the ball's come loose! Alvarez really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Jota. Mohamed Salah. On behind for a goal kick. Gundogan. Fabinho spreads it towards the left. Nunes. And that's a goal kick. It's Alvarez. Jao Cancelo. And the shot! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Grealish. Dinks one in. Balls come loose. And Alvarez! Same again, same outcome. They're just lacking the cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. <laughs> Phillips. And it's Cancelo. Looks like a good ball through. Has a shot! This could fall anywhere! Aimed long and direct. Nunes. Alvarez. Hartland. Out wide to the right. for half time so now the team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying it's been an interesting game up to now but still goals what do you think we're up to after 45 minutes well this has proved a very frustrating day so far especially for the strikers nothing has been created for them i think the service has been extremely poor an intriguing half lacking only in goals the score nil nil Things going for the second half. Liverpool can be very glad that half time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup in this second half. No guts, no glory. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Greenish. Phillips. Hartland. And it's De Bruyne. De Bruyne goes looking. 
cut out in the nick of time. Alisson catches it safely. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. It is still anyone's game, nil-nil. Jota, Nunes, pushes it out wide, looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Out towards the flank. Well, to be honest, I think they're all show and no substance. Where's the final product? And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Manchester City look as though they're about to make a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Hartland. Looks to thread it through. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Face to face with the keeper. Is it in? Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Manchester City have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but... The... In with a header! Alisson trying to get there. Bernardo Silva... Morris hits it! Big moment! Massive goal! Listen, it's a massive contribution to help his team in front again, and his determination and stamina has enabled another late addition to, to typify his commitment from, from start to finish. Well, he was never going to miss from there. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. <laughs> Manchester City take the lead. Now it's just... There is the final whistle, so it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Look, Peter, a strength in any team has to be at the heart of your defence, and I'm afraid they were found wanting in that department. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.